Get ready to embark on a thrilling journey into the heart of an upcoming Netflix original series that's generating quite a buzz in the world of K-drama. So fasten your seatbelts because we're diving deep into the tantalizing details surrounding the bequeath. This upcoming Netflix original series hails from the creative genius Yoon Sang Ho, a name that horror enthusiasts will undoubtedly recognize. Sang Ho has a remarkable track record in the world of horror and suspense. He's the mastermind behind two exceptionally successful projects that have sent chills down our spines and kept us at the edge of our seats. Hellbound and the Train to Busan franchise For those who haven't experienced his previous work, Hellbound was a supernatural thriller that captivated audiences with its eerie storyline mysterious creatures, and thought-provoking themes. Meanwhile, Train to Busan became an instant classic renowned for its heart-pounding action and relentless tension. Sang Ho's ability to craft narratives that blend horror, suspense, and deep emotional resonance has left an indelible mark on the genre. Now, with the bequeath, we can't help but anticipate another thrilling ride into the world of horror. Given Sang Ho's stellar reputation for delivering spine-chilling and heart-pounding experiences, it's safe to say that the bequeath is poised to follow in the footsteps of its predecessors. If you're a fan of gripping storytelling, an expected twist, and an atmosphere that keeps you on the edge of your seat, this series is undoubtedly one you won't want to miss. Sang Ho's involvement alone is reason enough to be excited and we can't wait to see what he has in store for us in this South Korean Netflix original. So brace yourselves for a roller coaster of horror and suspense that's bound to leave a lasting impression. Let's take a closer look at the enigmatic plot of The Bequeath. The mystery surrounding the storyline has been a source of intrigue for fans eagerly awaiting its release. While details are scarce, our sources at Han Cinema have provided a tantalizing glimpse into what we can expect. The bequeath unfolds in a mysterious village and it's within the confines of this seemingly ordinary place that the story takes a dark and twisted turn. The villagers find themselves undergoing a baffling transformation into zombies, setting the stage for a narrative that promises to be rife with suspense and intrigue. Now the question on everyone's mind is, what kind of zombies will grace our screens in this K-drama series? It's a question that adds an extra layer of anticipation to the mix. And as you pointed out, we have a clue from Yeon Sang-ho's previous work, Train to Busan. In that iconic film, Sang-ho introduced us to lightning-fast, flesh-eating goals that brought a new level of terror to the zombie genre. Given Sang Ho's penchant for crafting such relentless and terrifying creatures, it's not unreasonable to assume that the bequeath might deliver a similar heart pounding experience. These zombies are likely to be formidable, relentless, and incredibly fast, making the situation for the characters and viewers all the more harrowing. In this very element of uncertainty and fear that adds a thrilling dimension to the series. So as we eagerly await more details about the plot of The Bequeath, one thing is certain. With Yeon Sang-ho's mastery of horror and suspense, we're in for a pulse-pounding ride that will keep us at the edge of our seats and the zombies, whatever form they take, will undoubtedly play a central role in delivering spine-tingling thrills. Let's explore the tantalizing question that's been on everyone's minds. Is The Bequeath connected to the illustrious Train to Busan universe? While we await official confirmation, the notion isn't merely wishful thinking. There are compelling reasons to consider this possibility. The idea of a shared universe or continuity within a franchise can be an exciting prospect for fans. It's a way to expand upon a beloved story, explore new facets of its world, and delve deeper into its lore. In this case, if the bequeath were indeed connected to Train to Busan, it would open up a wealth of possibilities for storytelling and character development. Picture the scenario. Netflix chooses to market the bequeath as a spin-off or a prequel to Train to Busan. This marketing strategy alone would set the hearts of zombie enthusiasts racing with excitement. It would create a sense of anticipation and intrigue, enticing fans of the original film to delve into this new chapter of the story. Moreover, the potential to uncover the origins of the zombie outbreak or to follow the evolution of the terrifying virus could provide a rich narrative backdrop. It would offer a chance to explore the interconnectedness of characters, events in the eerie world where zombies reign supreme. 
However, it's important to remember that while the idea is tantalizing, it remains speculative until official confirmation is received. The beauty of such speculation lies in the excitement it generates, sparking conversations and theories among fans. Regardless of whether the bequeath is connected to Train to Busan or not, one thing is clear. The mere possibility of such a link has added an extra layer of intrigue to this already highly anticipated series. Fans will undoubtedly be keeping a close watch for any hints or clues that might reveal the true nature of this connection. Until then, the mystery continues and our excitement grows. The presence of these talented actors and actresses is one of the many reasons to anticipate the series. First on our list is Kim Yoon Joo, a familiar face for fans of the supernatural thriller Hellbound. Kim Yoon Joo has earned her reputation as a versatile and accomplished actress, and her inclusion in the bequeath is nothing short of exciting. While the specific character she'll portray remains a well-guarded secret, and this adds an element of mystery and curiosity to her role. Fans of K-dramas will have another reason to celebrate as they can also look forward to her appearance in Jong E in 2023. Kim Yoon Joo's talent and on-screen presence are sure to be a highlight of the bequeath. But the excitement doesn't stop there. Enter Park Hee Soon, a name that's becoming increasingly synonymous with quality Netflix original series. Park Hee Soon's participation in The Bequeath marks his third venture with Netflix, following his roles in A Model Family and My Name. This demonstrates Netflix's trust in his acting prowess and ability to captivate audiences. His addition to the cast undoubtedly raises expectations for another remarkable performance. As we eagerly await more casting announcements, it's clear that The Bequeath has assembled a stellar ensemble. With a combination of Kim Yoon Joo's seasoned talent and Park Hee Soon's proven track record, viewers can anticipate a memorable and captivating performance. These actors bring depth and authenticity to their characters, which is sure to enrich the storytelling experience. So let's keep our eyes peeled for further updates as the cast of The Bequeath continues to take shape promising an exciting and star-studded adventure in the world of K-drama. As our most recent update in June 2023, The Bequeath has reached a noteworthy milestone it's proudly labeled as completed in its production status. This designation is a testament to the hard work, dedication, and meticulous effort put forth by the entire production team. It's a clear indicator that they've been diligently working to bring the series to life in a way that lives up to the high expectations set by fans and viewers alike. In conclusion, The Bequeath is poised to be a riveting addition to the world of K-drama, offering a concoction of zombies, mystery, and an outstanding cast. Stay tuned for further updates and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to ensure you stay in the loop with all the latest news about your favorite shows. Thank you for joining us today and we eagerly anticipate catching you in our next video.